You're watching BBC World News Today with me, Zainab Badawi. European Union warships and planes are preparing to take control of guarding one of the world's most important and dangerous shipping lanes off the coast of Somalia. It's the first ever naval operation in the bloc's history. The anti-piracy mission will take over from NATO next week and is expected to last at least a year. Foreign ministers meeting in Brussels have approved what officials describe as robust rules of engagement. We'll have more on that in a moment. But first, here's Matt Proger. A freighter, the Ibn Battuta, negotiates the pirate-infested waters of Somalia. Were it not for the protection of these Dutch special forces, it's unlikely it would have reached its destination, the port at Mogadishu. On Monday, the European Union launched its first ever naval task force against Somalia's pirates. It'll take over from the NATO flotilla in a week. Its mission? To protect vulnerable vessels, in particular shipments of aid. Like that on board the Ibn Battuta. 7,000 tons of food and supplies now on the dockside in Mogadishu. The people of Somalia need it desperately and their plight may be about to worsen. Nearly half of Somalis are dependent on food aid. But if the seas off the country are dangerous for foreigners, the land is even more so. Most international aid workers have had to pull out and Somali staff are finding it increasingly difficult to operate. The Red Cross has warned that the country could descend into famine and Somalia's 17 years of violence may be about to enter a new chapter. The guns of the Islamic militias were supposed to have been silenced by the arrival two years ago of troops from neighboring Ethiopia. But the troops control little more than the streets of Mogadishu. And now those same soldiers are expected to be withdrawn within weeks. In the meantime, hundreds of thousands of civilians have been killed. A new report by the lobby group Human Rights Watch says the fighting has merely fueled the extremism the international community hoped the Ethiopians would crush. The insurgents have now gained the upper hand. They're controlling most of... Uh, of, of Somalia and uh, if the Ethiopian government uh, withdraws its, its forces in the next few months then you're going to be left in a situation which is much worse than the situation before they actually went in. In an operations room near London, naval officers coordinate the European Union's new anti-piracy task force. It's a big challenge. Uh, the pirates are very agile, they learn quickly, uh, they're adapting new tactics all the time for how to try and defeat uh, what we're doing to deter and disrupt them. Uh, so we uh, have got to be very agile too. But the pirates are merely a symptom of Somalia's desperate condition. Curing it will take more than frigates and sailors. Matt Proger, BBC News. Well, joining me now from Washington is David Rifkin, who's an international law specialist and a formal legal advisor to the White House. David Rifkin, is international law clear and robust enough to deal with the growing problem of piracy? Traditional international law is indeed robust and clear enough. Unfortunately, uh, the changes that have been introduced in the last uh, 15 or 20 years, particularly uh, by a lot of our European friends, are not helping matters. Uh, both going to the rules of engagement and also the question, what do you do with captured pirates? 